Welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Now let's get into the news. NERTW best Governor Samwalu to maintain relationship with the union. The news in details. The management of the National Union of Radio Transport Workers, NERTW, has appealed to Lagos Governor Babajide Samwalu to keep the union government relationship intact. Tajuddin Bara, the NERT national president, praised the governor for his support over the years. The union's national leadership pleaded with Governor Sanwalu to maintain the current amicable relationship between NERTW and the Lagos state government and to extend it to the newly appointed executives of the union, he said. Mr. Barra stated that the union had established a nine-man caretaker committee to monitor and coordinate the union's operations throughout Lagos State. The nine-member caretaker committee will be directed by Mr. Fatai Adeshino, a transportation industry stakeholder, and will serve for the next three months as required by the union's constitution. Well, I don't know if Governor Sanwalu should maintain a relationship with the union, but let's see how it's going to go with them we all know the saga that is happening within the union and we all know that the nrtw legal chapter was dissolved and it brought a lot of trouble and uh, mc loma who was the chairman was suspended because of insubordination and indictment and several allegations that were brought against him and we all know that mc loma is not on good terms with the national president, Alaji Tajuddin Barra, and he is fighting with other people. And we have seen the, the commotion that has been happening. A lot of violence has been taking place. Take, for example, the masked men who were over a hundred came and started saying they did not want him so long more after the governor appointed him for another role. After the dissolution of the NERTW, the, the governor, Governor Babajide Samwalu, went ahead and appointed MC Lomo as the chairman for the, for the management of parks and garages committee. And it was a 26 member council. And we, and this didn't sit well with a lot of people. A lot of people were angry. A lot of people were ticked off. They were pissed off to the extent that the accountability and anti corruption groups. Um, which consisted of a of a of a list of numbers of association came out to to challenge the governor, telling him that they liked the idea of what it did, but they did not like the way it was carried out. That they shouldn't have put M. Solomo into as the chairman, because we already know that he has pending cases against him. There was a reason why he left, why he was suspended. So for you to now appoint that same person that was suspended for some certain allegations, you now put him as chairman. So it made a lot of people angry. It ticked off a lot of people. A lot of people were so pissed about the whole thing. And this anti-corruption and, and accountability group came out and they were speaking. They were saying that M. Solomo, with this much power that you have been given now, that he is going to take over other other operations saying that he is only limited to, to buses to take um levies from boxes only limited to levy boxes and um, buses rather but now he's going to take over the the tricycle parks the uh, motorcycles he will start collecting money from these people and they also even brought out that they brought out listed the amount of money being levied on both the kekemara both the the bikes um, the buses and they said it is up to 123 billion naira and they accused him of not using that money well and uh, they accused him of embezzling funds because they were like where are all this money going to we know the amount of money we get from 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 charging these buses from charging these motorcycles from charging this uh, mara why are we not getting the money why are we not seeing the money and all those things they also say that based on the constitution it is not the right of the state government to set up this parks committee that it is meant to be the local government they brought out sections in the constitutions they quoted the, the constitutions and they also stated that it's not meant to be a member of 26 it is meant to be a member of six and one chairman so 
they counterattacked the state the, the governor they counterattacked the, the 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 governor of the state babaji de sanwolu because they said this is not how this is done and all and now barra has, has come to beg the governor not to sever ties with the union that the governor should also have a close relationship with the union that they should keep the relationship intact but would that be possible because we all know that um tunumbu jagaban is the one in charge of lagos state everyone says this pe- people talk and we have had lots of comments we have had lots of reactions from the social media pages and they say that tunumbu is in charge of lagos state and the governors are just like the puppets for him he plagues them he pulls the string and you can tell him to to not sever ties with the NRTW when Olomo is in in the picture. And so Olomo, we all know, is Tunumbu's boy. He carry out a lot of things for Tunumbu, and you don't expect him to to say that he is not going to favor M. Olomo. Just imagine, M. Olomo might say he doesn't want the governor to have any relationship with with the NRTW, and it can happen because. Because M. Solomo is Tunumbu's boy. M. Solomo works for Tunumbu. So at the end of the day, Tunumbu has given M. Solomo so much power. Because if we think of it, if we all think of it, why did why is it that immediately M. Solomo was suspended as the chairman of the Lagos chapter of NERTW? He was given another position. He can't leave that place. So the the, the governor might sever ties with, with the NERTW buddy he might sever ties with them because he doesn't want an issue whereby it to bring conflict between M. Solomo and Alaji Tajuddin Bara because at the end of the day if he's going to be on anybody's side or if he's going to camp with anybody it will always be with M. Solomo because we all know that it is Tinumbu controlling Lagos State Everyone says it. This is these are things we see on social media. These are things whereby people react to, people talk. So at the end of the day, I don't know if Samuel might keep that relationship with any RTW, but he is the governor of Lagos State. He has the right to keep a relationship with them. And a lot of things have been happening, a lot of fights, a lot of violence. Just recently, the 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 head of the Trisaco Operation of uh, association of of nigeria we all saw what happened where the loyalists clashed where the nu the the m soloma loyalists and also the end some of the nrtw loyalists we all see when they clashed and at the end of the day they caused a lot of commotion that they had to um alert the police if not for the the rapid response squad that immediately answered we, we don't know what might have been of the fagba area by now well, we all hope that the violence is curtailed and that there will be peace moving forward. Well, do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on your notifications to get more news updates from us as it comes. Thank you.